properly using a coping saw. This is a coping saw. Uh, the frame of the saw is like this, the blade of the saw is here, and the handle is here. If we look closely at it, you'll notice that the teeth on the saw, they actually point towards the handle. So that means that with a coping saw, you're actually going to cut as you're pulling, not when you're pushing, which is pretty much true for all the other hand saws. But coping saws cut when you pull because it gives you finer motor control. This machine is called a vise, and a vise holds the workpiece. It's like a clamp, but it's permanently fixed to the table. So if you turn the handle to the left, the vise opens. If you hand it to the right, turn the handle to the right, the vise closes. Technically, this is a metal working vise, but for what we're doing here in the shop, it's quite all right if you put a piece of wood into it. Again, obviously, the thing is that you're using it to uh, cut a piece of wood. When you put your material into the vise, you want to cut close to the vise. You don't want it far away. Um, the further it is away, the more vibration you're going to have on the board. So that's not good. You place your material into the vise. You try and make sure that your cut is 90 degrees to the table, so it's straight up and down. And then you're going to place that coping saw blade like right above that cut. And when you cut, you're not pressing down. It's just a gentle drag of the blade. And you're pressing down very little. Like right now, I'm barely holding on to the handle of the saw. Lots of kids want to rush through the cut. Don't do that. Take your time. Um, I'm barely pressing down at all. I'm using the entire length of the blade from front to back. And I'm doing my best to watch that I'm right where I need to be on the line. It's very hard to cut straight with the coping saw, but you do your best and you take your time. Again, use the whole length of the blade from front to back, one end of the, to the other. And gently, when you get to the end of your cut, you want to slow down so that you don't rip through it real fast. I mean, you should be cutting at this pace anyway. When you get to the end of the cut, you just slowly, gently come through it. And there you go.